So I've got a good one today. I've always wanted to smoke some queso and I haven't yet and I'm going to use three different cheeses. Um, yeah, it's going to be fantastic folks. I just know it. I've got the uh, Weber Smoky Mountain cooking or heating up right now. It's just under 250 degrees and I went ahead and already got all the cheese and everything I'm going to use in this recipe. So check it out right now. So I'm just going to start off with a 32 ounce dill of Velveeta. And I'm just going to kind of put them in chunks all along this disposable aluminum pan I got here. A little a block of cream cheese. Going to add that whole block right in there. And about a half of, uh, of that pepper jack block you saw there. It's about three-fourths of a pound. I'm going to cube that all up in there as well. And three cheese just like that. Then I'm going to add some diced tomatoes with green chilies. This is a Rotel, the same thing pretty much. The cheap version. I like cheap. Then I'm going to add some diced jalapenos. You could cut your own up just a cheap four ounce can and throw in there. That's a nice touch to it. Get a little kick and some spiced garlic. I threw a spoonful of that in there. And then I'm going to add some uh, sausage. Uh, cook that up and it's going to get cooked on my black stone. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some onions in there because that grease come from that sausage is going to make that uh, real nice. And I got a secret ingredient I'll be adding here after this cooks about 10 minutes as well to take it to the next level. But don't that just look completely amazing. So just take a look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and let that cook. Well, actually, first, I need to do one more thing because I didn't add any wood in here yet. And that's one thing I've, I've started doing is adding uh, the smoking wood. When I add the food, I used to uh, add it all at once. But uh, the wood would be burnt up and, and now is a good time. So right here in the uh, bay, I've got some uh, hickory chip, chips right here. I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Look at that. That's just charcoal right now. And I'm going to add some of these in here. One, two, add about three of those right there. Uh, this is the rod I use with the pit barrel. And I'm going to go ahead and push those on back up in there just a little bit. Kind of scatter them around a little. Just put this right back on. So now I've got the smoked uh, wood in there and uh, well we're just going to let it cook for a bit in about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to check it. We're going to start stirring all that in there. Put that secret ingredient in there and then just let it smoke for a good hour and then hopefully we're going to enjoy some queso here shortly. So it's been a little over 10 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and stir Got a spoon, we're just going to stir that up a little bit and add that special ingredient I've been talking about. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Dang, that just looked wonderful. We're going to go ahead and start mixing this up just a little bit. And this is what I'm going to be doing throughout the course of this. I'm going to stir it, cook it 10 minutes, 15 minutes, stir it, rinse and repeat. Temperature of this thing did get to about 250 degrees. I closed some of the dampers down here and uh, bringing it on down to closer, hopefully closer to 225. Of course, now I got the lid open and it's all burned like crazy. There we go. Let me put the lid on. Let me go inside and get that special ingredient. Take it to the next level. So yeah, we're just gonna add mm, about half of this. Any beer will do to try to keep the thinness down during the process. Add a good little subtle flavor. The other half drink. Now we'll just mix all that in. And I've really got this fire going crazy now because I've had this lid open so much. So we're going to shut the lid. We're going to 
choke it down. We're going to get that temperature where we want it. Basically, I'm going to continue to do that about every 10 or 15 minutes. I'll check on it. I'll be back here in a little bit with the final product. We're going to test this queso out. So it's been a little over an hour and I went ahead and come out and stirred it about every 15 to 20 minutes or so, just a few times to make sure that it's uh, stirred up real good. And then we, I did do a test and the smoke is there, uh, but we're gonna now do it with the chip. I haven't tested it with the chip yet. And these are the chips right here uh, that we went ahead and used. Just use some tortillas, a little olive oil and air fried them in the Samsung, uh, I have a Samsung air fryer and it, five minutes. Added uh, olive oil, salt to tortillas, cut them up, five minutes, boom, done. First time I cooked them a little long, burnt, so five minutes and you're good. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick taste test and see how this is. First, let's take a look. Don't that just look amazing? So let's go ahead. You go ahead and take your chip. I'm going to take my chip. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Here we go. If you haven't done smoked queso yet, that's mm, really good. I gotta get, mm, look at that. Mm -hmm. With a homemade chip. You don't have a homemade chip, that's fine, but man. That's good. Mm. <laughs> really good. Has a little bit of kick in it from those um, jalapenos. If you want a little more, kick out a little more, but man, I think that's perfect. But this queso should have your own mark on it. This is not out of a recipe per se. Uh, look it up. I looked it up and kind of figured out how to make it. And then just threw my own swag to it. You know, you got to put your own little touch to it. Add whatever it is you want. You could add something I didn't add to. You could add black beans or you could add hamburger meat or chorizo, whatever it is. Or you could just have no meat in it. It's totally up to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I welcome you to give it a like. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment below because it does help push this out to other people. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.